Hey guys, so today I'm really really excited because today I'm finally bringing you a tutorial that has been requested so much and the thing about this tutorial is, is that I already had this tutorial on my channel but I deleted it because it was way too long. I just really don't like it so I deleted it and a lot of you asked me on Twitter if I could redo it and I finally finally am redoing it and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own digipacks. These are the digipacks that I have made. I just have a couple of them. All of my digipacks are Demi Lovato Lady Gaga related because I like to have physical copies of singles I really like. But the thing about this kind of digipack is that you can use this tutorial but instead of using it to do a fan made CD you can do like a playlist for your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your best friend or your mom or your dad. Whoever you want to give this to because I think it's a really great gift and it could be for Valentine's Day, Christmas, any time of the year you can do this. It doesn't have to be an artist, you can just put like pictures of you and your friends or your family or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever you want and then you can do a mix, a playlist mixed for them to listen to. So they're really simple, really easy, really cheap by the way. This one only costs to make three dollars which is amazing. I really love how it turned out. Well I really hope you like this video because I put way too effort on it and I was planning it for a long long time to redoing it and I finally am and yeah I'm just so excited for this video and I hope you like this video and without being said let's get into the digipack tutorial. Whoop. First you will need to design your digipack. You will need to download two files named 1 and 2 that will be available in the description. Those are the templates I created for you guys. Start by opening number 1 on Photoshop. There will be three sections, the middle one, which is the side of your CD, the right one, which is the cover of your CD, and the left one, which is the back part where the info and the track listing will go. So you can design this however you want, very professional looking or very simple. I went with a little bit more professional look, but you can do what your creativity desires. Once you design the number one, open number two on Photoshop. This will have three sections as well. The middle one won't have any design. The left and the right sides are where the CDs will go. So you can design those ones however you want. In mine, I put the lyrics in the left side and here is where my CD will go. On the right side, I put the alternative single cover and this is where my DVD will go. You don't have to do a CD and a DVD. You can do it for two CDs or two DVDs or just one CD or one DVD. Once you finish them, save them. Now, open Microsoft Word. Change the design of page from letter mode to legal. Import the first one. Double click the picture. Click on adjust text. Click in front of text. Left click the picture. Click where it says size and position. Click on the size tab. Uncheck these two little squares and then resize to height. 12.5 cm and width 28.5 cm. Spin the pictures 90 degrees to the right and adjust to the page. Double click on one of the two pictures, click on adjust text, click in front of text, left click the picture, click where it says size and position, and click on the size tab. Uncheck these two squares and then resize to height 12.4 cm and width 13.9 cm and repeat for the other design. No need to spin, just adjust to the page. For the CDs are 12.1 cm by 12.1 cm, height and width. Just design your label inside a circle and remember that the circle in the middle. You can look for tutorials more details on how to make labels. However, I'm going to show you how you can apply it to a CD even if you only print it on normal computer paper. Once you have everything arranged, print everything on legal paper. Now to assemble your digipack. You will need your design printed or normal computer paper, scissors and or X-Acto knife, ruler or rulers, spray adhesive, E6000 glue, clear contact paper, poster board, pencil and finally a cutting mat or board. Now let's assemble everything. Start with the main design which is the one the image are together and use your ruler and your pencils to create some tabs on the top of your image like I'm showing you in the video except for the middle part. Once you created the tabs, cut everything inside the lines. Once you cut it, set it aside. 
Then take the other image and cut them with the help of your scissors and or exacto knife. Once you have everything cut out, you are going to glue the images like so with the inside designs upside down. Glue it with a glue stick, please. And once you glue all the pieces, set the new piece aside. With your rulers and pencils, create a 2 inch in this area of the poster board on the corner. Make sure they are even. Make them a little bit longer from height and width of your digipack designs. These edges will be your guys to glue your digipack from that edge. So glue them but leaving the edge of the poster board that we marked exposed. Then with the edges that we left exposed, you're going to create some tabs like so. And once you mark everything like this, you are going to cover the whole thing with clear contact paper. Once you cut everything with the contact paper, cut everything out. Then, once it's cut with the bone folder or the back of your exacto knife or scissors, you're going to run it on the fold lines. This will make the folding process much easier and professional looking. Once you ran the back of your exacto knife or bone folder or the back of your scissors, fold them. This will give the digipack the form of the actual digipack. Now, unfold everything and put glue on the tabs we created, I repeat, in the tabs only. Once you put the glue on the tab, fold the Gigi pack, then close it, and finally put something heavy on top so it will adhere better and let it dry overnight. While it dries, I'll show you how you can make your own CD labels with normal computer paper, but make sure you burn your CDs and or DVDs before doing this process. Cover with clear contact paper your CD design that you printed on your computer paper. Then cut around the shape with your scissors and the inside as well. You can use an exacto knife to help you out with this. Once you have the shape cut out, take your spray adhesive, cardboard or something to put the label under and if you have it, this press thing that will help you out. Spray the back of your CD label with the spray adhesive and then very carefully move it to the press thing. Then put the CD or DVD on the press thingy right side of the CD facing the wrong side of the label and press to adhere. Smooth out any bubbles. If you don't have the press thingy, just stick the design with your fingers to the CD and smooth out any bubbles. If you have any excess paper, cut it out very carefully with your scissors around the CD. And there you go! You have your digipack ready. Hope you like this video guys. I hope you find it helpful and that it will inspire you so you can make your very own digipack. Remember, if you recreate this video or any other of my DIYs, don't forget to send me a picture to any of my social medias that will be listed down below. And while you're at it, don't forget to follow me if you haven't already. In the description, there will be a couple of tips that will help you out with this tutorial, as well as all the materials listed detailed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are, thank you so much, guys. I love you so, so much. See you in the next video. Bye!